go. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Mostly Gledia podcast where we talk Gledia mostly. mostly. <laughs> I'm your host, Sue Sylvester, Cole Giroux. And I'm Janie. <laughs> and today we have a podcast that's been in the makings for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, it's like a week and a half. Yeah, it's been a little bit over. If you, if you're watching on YouTube, you probably noticed I am Sue Sylvester. I am Sue. <laughs> I am Sue. Um, I had to get all. I had to get my spiffy suit out for today. I had to get ready. It's a big day. Yeah. You know, yep. my knockoff Adidas. I love it. It was fifty dollars on Amazon. Dang. And I have the tags on, and I will be returning it. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm, when am I going to use this other than this one episode? Halloween. I guess, but I, I'm not going to be Sue. Okay, we got to get into this. Yeah, we got to go. We got to go. We got to go, go, go. I go, have go. 23 pages okay. of notes. Let's go. Okay. For weekly recap. Oh. What's your weekly recap, Janie? Uh, not much, honestly. Okay. Like, what do I do? Edit. 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 That's it. Same. I've just been watching Glee, editing. And suing. Suing it up. We finally got that new interface for our microphone. So we have the same microphones now. Yeah, we're we're official now. We're, we've got a setup. That was a bad high really five. really bad. <laughs> okay, we're going to get into this because there there is a lot. Let's read the premise. <laughs> okay. Do you want to do the premise or do you want yeah. to do... Okay. Optimistic... <laughs> uh, once again, we all know it's me. This is pulled straight from Wikipedia. Continue. Of course. Okay. Wait, before we start, I just want to say Glee is my favorite show ever. Okay, here we go. Mm. Opt- I'm not kidding. Okay. <laughs> Optimistic teacher Will Schuster heads up McKinley High School's Glee Club, New Directions, a place where... Amb- what? New Directions. Yeah? New oh directions. my gosh. You've never noticed that? Oh my gosh. New Directions. You've never... That, they did it on purpose. Wait, that like just... Anyways. Oh my gosh. A place where ambitious and talented students can find strength, acceptance, and their voice. Right. As the students find themselves, they also enjoy a respite from the harsh <laughs> realities of life. Mr. Schuster hopes to help the kids in every way he can and also dreams of taking the group to nationals. As Schuster and the Glee Club pursue their goal, they face opposition from a con- conniving cheerleader coach, Sue Sylvester. That's me. Who tries to sabotage the group at every turn. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm taking this wig off. It's itchy and it's going to get warm. Okay. <laughs> well, Sue can hang out here. Put it on top of your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> then you can't hear. I'll tell you if it's different. Hello, hello. Hello? It sounds exactly the same. Okay, I got a new mic. Wait, now take it off. Say hello. Hello? Now put it back on. No, I'm just gonna. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna hang it here. She can chill with us. She can chill. She can chill. Okay, it's not gonna stay. Oh my gosh! Just okay. <laughs> <coughs> okay. And now we're gonna go into a little synopsis of season one because all the seasons kind of have different plot lines. This is the season features the fictional high school choir, the New Directions. <laughs> You're not gonna unhear it now. Mm-mm. Um. Competing for the first time on the show choir circuit, while its members and faculty deal with sex, bullying, body image, homosexuality, teenage pregnancy, disabilities, adoption, and other social issues. I don't know if I wrote that, or (laughs) I think that might be pulled straight from Wikipedia as well. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Now we're just going to get real into this now. Okay. Do you want to do the first episode? I do. Okay. All right. Episode one. The pilot where I fell in love with Glee. Honestly, I think this is the one of the best television pilots I've ever seen. Oh yeah, it's it's a really good pilot. Ugh. It sets up everything perfectly. All right, here we go. After the previous choir teacher, Sandy <laughs> Ryerson, is that how you say Sandy it? Ryerson? Ryerson gets fired for touching sp- boys. Mm. The Spanish teacher Will Schuster steps up to take control of the club. This angers the cheerleading coach Sue Sylvester. Will holds auditions in the following Rachel Berry, On My Own, Les Mis, These are the songs Mercedes Jones, Respect, Aretha Franklin, Kurt Hummel, Artie Abrams, and Tina Cohen Chang. Oh, you don't care about Kurt's song? Oh, 
Mr. Uh, cellophane. Mr. Cellophane. And Tina did I Kissed a Girl by I Katy Perry. I Kissed a Girl. Attend auditions and get into Glee Cub, Club. Club. <laughs> okay. uh, after overhearing quarterback Finn Hudson singing in the locker room showers, he plants weed <laughs> in his locker and blackmails him to join Glee. The, the weed was from Sandy Ryerson as well. <laughs> I love how also this doesn't come out until like seasons later that Will what? actually did that. What? He put weed in Finn's locker. No. Huh? He. We know the very first segment he does it. No, no, no. But Finn doesn't know. Oh yeah, years Finn later. doesn't know. Once Will gets home, oh wait, Will takes the Glee Club with the chaperone of Emma Pillsbury, the school guidance counselor who has OCD, to go see their competition, Vocal Adrenaline. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got allergies. Mm-hmm. And we got to get going. We're still on the Once Will gets home, Terry tells him she is pregnant, prompting Will to resign from William McKinley to provide for his family. With Rachel now leading the new directions, they all band together to perform their song, Don't Stop Believing by Journey. While performing, Will overhears and decides to stay and teach Glee. So after the synopsis of each of these little episodes, I have all the songs that were performed in the episode and then like my favorite quotes from the episode. Okay. So probably to cut time, not all the songs, but just like maybe your favorite. No, we're, we're, we're just going to run through the list. Just like, do, do, not talk about oh, them. Okay. Just like they performed respect. Mr. Cellophane. I kissed a girl on my own. Sit down. You're rocking the boat. Can't fight this feeling. You're the one that I want. Rehab, leaving on a jet plane and don't stop believing. Classic. Don't stop believing. Classic. Mm-hmm. They performed it over six times. Wow. And then here's some of uh, one of my, some of my favorite quotes from the episode. Do you want to like go back and forth with these? Yeah. Okay. I'll start here. Uh, you think this is hard? Try being waterboarded. That's hard. That is the very first mm-hmm. line of the entire show. It is? Very first line is, you think this is hard? Try being waterboarded. That's hard. Oh, to her cheerleaders? Yeah, that that's Sue. We also have Who Said These. Next. I'm on my feet four hours a day, three days a week here. Now I have to go home and cook dinner for myself. That was a good old Terry Schuster. <laughs> and then this is one of my favorite, like, subtle little things. Quinn walks up to Finn and Rachel, and they're talking in the hallway. And she goes, hi, Finn. Turns to Rachel, RuPaul. <laughs> 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 okay, oh, next we're on episode two, Showmance. With Will back for good, he plans on having the New Directions perform at a school assembly to recruit new members. Will and the kids argue about the song choice for the assembly. Uh... This is where we get the first intro of Will rapping in the show. Oh, dear. He raps Gold Digger by Kanye West. Oh. <laughs> um, Will and Terry are planning on buying a new home after the pushing from Terry's sister, Kendra. Will and Terry begin fighting over not making ends meet, forcing Will to take a job, taking over a janitorial position at the school. Uh, and we learn at Terry's first ultrasound, she's having a hysterical pregnancy, which is just called... Um, False pregnancies now. They're not called hysterical pregnancies mm. anymore. Um, she refuses to tell Will, but urges him to quit working as a janitor and turn her craft room into a nursery so they don't have to move. Rachel has a new budding romance crush for Finn. I don't know why I said romance. To the point of trying to throw up to be like that, or Finn like that girl Quinn, Finn's girlfriend, uh, and joining the celibacy club to hang out with him. This is where we learn that Finn hit a man with his car and uses the memory <laughs> Of it to not climax, if you know what I mean, when he's making out. <laughs> Rachel tells the celibacy club that sex is normal and girls want it too, which impresses Finn. <laughs> Rachel and the rest of the Glee Club go behind Will's back to change the song for the assembly. The students end up loving it. Get up on this. But I, I said, the, but the students didn't. <laughs> I meant the, the teachers. Teachers. Uh, leaving the Glee Club to only be able to perform a s- songs that have been pre-approved by Principal Figgins and Sue Sylvester. Uh, Quinn decides to audition for the Glee Club with fellow cheerleaders, Santana and Brittany, to spy on Finn and Rachel while also helping Sue take down the club. For songs, we have La Freak, Gold Digger, Push It, I Say a Little Prayer, and Take a Bow. First of the quotes, we have, I know you're used to being the cook, the cock of the walk around here. And then Sue, under her breath, just goes, offensive. That was Will and Sue. Yes. This is where our daughter or gay son will sleep. Terry. <laughs> Come on, Terry. This is... After Rachel tries to make herself throw up. <clears throat> I tried, but I guess I just don't have a gag reflex. Rachel says that. And then Emma Pillsbury, the guidance counselor, says, one day when you're older, that'll turn out to be a gift. <laughs> I was hoping you had that in here. <laughs> There's just so many subtle lines. 
they're not going to kill us because we are going to give them what they want. Blood? Better. Sex. (laughs) (laughs) That was Rachel and Kurt. (laughs) Episode three, the Mm Akafellas. Wow. Rachel starts to question Will's dancing abilities, which leads Will to start an all-male a cappella group, the Acafellas. <laughs> With Will gone, the glee club starts to crumble, and Mercedes starts to like Kurt. Rachel tries to hire a choreographer to make them better, but they find out he is rude. Puck and Finn both end up joining Acafellas once one of the members tries to kill himself with cough syrup. Don't laugh. <laughs> During just- a car wash fundraiser. Kurt tells Mercedes he is in love with someone else, so she throws a rock through his car window. He later tells her he's gay. Mm-hmm. Josh Groban gives <laughs> Sandy a restraining order. Just the key <laughs> aspects of this episode. <laughs> Songs? Okay. We have, for he's a jolly good fellow, this is how we do it. Poison, mercy, bust your windows, I want to sex you up. Mm-hmm. And for quotes, we have, <laughs> Who is Josh Groban? Kill yourself. <laughs> that would be Sandy Ryerson. Dude, my bowels have better moves than you. <laughs> Noah Puckerman. <laughs> Episode four, Preggers. Probably one of the, this is one of the best episodes, yes. honestly. I, it's it's great. Okay. Mm-hmm. After his dad finds him dancing to Beyonce, Kurt tries to act straight and he tells his dad he joined the football team, forcing him to actually join the football team. <laughs> Kendra insists that Terry shouldn't tell Will about the fake pregnancy. Sue starts her reoccurring news segment, Sue Sees It. Slay. Um, <laughs> what was it? Uh, Quinn tells Finn she's pregnant, even though they never had sex. <laughs> Later revealing that Quinn is pregnant with Puck's baby because <gasps> she cheated on Finn with Noah Puckerman. Yep. She starts, in, uh, Sue starts a musical with Sandy. Uh, to take down the Glee Club, and Rachel quits for the musical. Terry finds Quinn to make a plan so she can take her baby after she gives birth, so it looked like she gave birth, to Will's child. Uh, Kurt and the rest of the football team use Single Ladies by Beyonce to win their first football game of the season. Kurt comes out to his dad, Bert, accepting King, um, and three football players join the Glee Club. That would be Puck, Mike, and Matt. For songs, we have Single Ladies, which was done four separate times. Whoa. I didn't realize that. Uh, Taking Chances and Tonight. For quotes, we have Giving Birth Isn't How It Is in the Movies. It's bloody and bestial and you get poop all over your cowboy boots. <laughs> that would be Kendra. Oh, here's another one from Kendra. Oh my God, <laughs> is the baby black? <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a good one from Sue Caning Works. What does caning mean? When you beat someone with a cane. Oh. <laughs> Call the Vatican. We got ourselves another immaculate conception. <laughs> Puck. Puck. <laughs> <laughs> I had sex with you because I got <laughs> because you got me drunk on wine coolers and I felt fat that day. Oh, Quinn. That was Quinn. Quinny. Oh, Quinny. Episode five. The roads not, not taken. taken. First episode with here's what you missed on Glee. I didn't realize it was that far into the season. Yeah, wow. Here's what you missed on Glee. Here's what you missed on Glee. Glee. Okay. <clears throat> Will learns that vocal adrenaline has purposely been failing students so they can stay in the choir, which gives Will the idea to bring back April Rhodes. Played by Kristen Chenoweth. Mm-hmm. Once in school, April starts telling the kids to steal, drink, and is implied to have... Sex with, sex teenagers. with teenagers. Oh, gosh. Will urges April to get sober and continue on with her schooling. After April performs drunk at the school invitational, Will removes her from Glee Club and Rachel joins Glee again after quitting the school musical. Songs are Don't Stop Believing, Ooh, my Maybe This Time, Cabaret, Alone, Last Name, and Somebody to Love. Uh, I love this quote. It's the only quote for this episode. It yeah, wasn't that great of an yeah. episode, honestly. Okay, it's Kurt. He says, he's talking to Emma and he says... He's very drunk. Yeah. He says, oh, Bambi, I cried when that hunter shot your mommy. <laughs> and then he vomits all over her shoes. Yeah. We have episode six named Vitamin D. Will is struggling to keep the Glee Club motivated after seeing they don't have, uh, they don't have big competi- competition for sectionals. Uh, he splits up the club into boys and girls and tasks them with singing a mashup, and whoever wins gets to pick the songs for sectionals. Terry starts to worry Will is cheating with Emma uh, at the tip-off of Sue, of course. So she gets hired at the school to be the school nurse. 
Terry starts giving out pseudofedrin to students to keep them lively, also urging Ken to propose to Emma. Terry gets Howard Bamboo arrested, and the school finds out and try and fires Terry and forces Will to be co-director of Glee Club with Sue Sylvester. That's me. For songs, we have a mashup of It's My Life and Confessions Part 2, and also a mashup of Halo and Walking on Sunshine. Hello! Um, a good old quote from Sue. We have, here I am, about to turn 30, and I've sacrificed everything, only to be shanghaied by the bi-curious machinations of a cabal of doughy, misshapen teens. I can't even process that quote. It's so good. Don't have the time, don't have the uterus. Oh, Sue. That's another Sue one. Mm -hmm. And then we have Terry and Will. (laughs) This is one of my favorite. (laughs) They're sitting silently at dinner, and Terry just goes, a lot of ants on the sidewalk today. (laughs) And Will goes, it's pretty early in the season for that. (laughs) It's so stupid. A lot of ants on the sidewalk today. That's how she would say it. It's pretty early in the season for that. All right. Episode 7, Throwdown. With Sue now co-directing the Glee Club, she splits up the kids and takes all the minorities to be on her team, Sue's kids. The two groups are set to perform two separate songs at sectionals. Meanwhile, Will is getting frustrated that he hasn't gone to the OBGYN with Terry, forcing Terry and her sister to blackmail a doctor to lie to her. Not to lie to him. Yeah, sorry. In the end, after heated after a heated fight between Sue and Will, Sue decides to step down as Glee Club co-director, bringing all the students back together. Songs are Hate on Me, Ride With Me, No Air, You Keep Me Hanging On, and Keep Holding On. And now we got some quotes. So, <laughs> s- Can I do this one? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, when Sue is picking out her um, her kids from the Glee Club for her group, this is how she calls out the names. She goes, Santana, Wheels, Gay Kid, Asian, Other Asian, Aretha, Shaft. (laughs) What? Santana, Wheels is Artie, Asian, and Other Asian are Tina and Mike. Yeah. (laughs) Aretha, Mercedes, Shaft, Matt. (laughs) (laughs) Who's the writer for Glee? How do they? It's a combination of Ian, I don't know his last name, Brad don't know his last name and then ryan murphy they wrote the first three seasons by themselves wow and they're really good i like minority so much i'm thinking of moving to california to become one <laughs> sue <laughs> i don't trust a man with curly hair i can't keep picturing small birds laying sulfuric sulfurous sulfurous sorry eggs in there and i find it disgusting that's sue as well you're all minorities <laughs> You're in Glee Club. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh, that's that's a good one right there. That's uh, Will, by the way. Uh, Next, we have episode eight mashup. With Emma and Ken getting married, they seek out Will's help to mash up their favorite songs, which happen to be "Thong Song" and "I Could Have Danced All Night." Uh, uh, and he they ask to give him they ask him to give them dancing lessons. Finn and Quinn get their first slushies to the face. And start to try to climb up the popularity ladder after news of their pregnancy goes public. Puck takes an interest in Rachel due to her Jewishness. Sue falls in love and makes amends with Will. Later she learns uh, the guy cheated on her and returns to her mean ways. Um, Effectively kicking Quinn off the Cheerios for being pregnant, the tension between Ken and Will grows as Ken suspects Will and Emma liking each other. To spite him, Ken makes all the football players in Glee choose which one they want to stay in, later canceling the Thursday practices after talking to Finn. This isn't a great episode. I just realized that. Mm-mm. No. A song as we have Bust a Move, Thong Song, What a Girl Wants, Sweet Caroline, Sing, 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 With a Swing, and I Could Have Danced All Night. <laughs> and this, this is a quote where Sue's talking to her love interest, Rod, Rod Runnington. And Sue goes, don't you have a wife, Rod? And he just goes, she drowned. And then like totally moves on. (laughs) Then just moves on. Damn, I feel like such a bad Jew. (laughs) Puck. Mm -hmm. Um, And The thing you have to realize about these quotes is they're mostly all going to be Sue. Yeah, can I read this one? Oh, wait, you're Sue. I'm Sue. And this is, I said this quote in the last episode we filmed. It's, if, (laughs) if it's... 
<laughs> if you if, can't read it right. Sorry. <laughs> if it is one minute late, I will go to the animal shelter and get you a kitty cat. I will let you fall in love with that kitty cat. And then on some dark, cold night, I will steal away into your home and punch you in the face. You did it wrong. I'm sorry. You did it wrong. I got to show you how okay. it's done. <laughs> okay. If it is one minute late. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to do it because you're just going to judge me. And I did it better last week. I know the viewers would, would like mine more, though. Nothing's going to be when I said it last week. If it is one minute late. I will go to the animal shelter and get you a kitty cat. Nope. I will let you fall in love with that kitty cat. And then... <laughs> no, I, I, I can't. You're not saying it with her with her gusto. And yeah. then... <laughs> nope. We're just going to move Next. on. <laughs> Episode 9, Wheels. While trying to figure out transportation to sectionals, Will is told the, told the school won't pay for the bus Artie is able to take. So the Glee Club is tasked with having a bake sale while also forcing the kids to move around in wheelchairs and perform a number in wheelchairs. Drama stirs in glee between Kurt and Rachel, as they have a diva off for the solo for their sectional song, which Kurt loses. Will's lesson on accessibility inspires Principal Figgins to have Sue hold auditions for a new cheerleader, leading to Becky Jackson becoming a cheerio. Bert becomes increasingly worried for Kurt as he begins getting calls calling Kurt slurs. Meanwhile, Quinn begins getting medical bills from the baby and pressuring Finn to help pay them. Puck's, Puck makes, dang, Puck makes laced cupcakes to sell at the bake sale. We learn Sue paid for the three new wheelchair ramps in the school and that Sue has a sister with Down syndrome, showing a softer side of Sue. Also, Tina has been faking her stutter. <laughs> I just had to throw that one in there. <laughs> Songs are Dancing with Myself, Defying Gravity, and Proud Mary. Keep on burning. Uh, the quote is, I want to be very clear. I still have the use of my penis. Artie. <laughs> you just have to make sure, you know. Next, we have episode 10, Ballad. Yo, I love this episode. It's so uncomfortable. I know. There's so many reasons. Oh. Uh, a new rule change to the show choir rules requires a ballad to be sung with their performance. Will assigns the Glee Clid kids <laughs> to find... <laughs> <laughs> the what? <laughs> to, to find a ballad to sing to a partner, ending up in Rachel falling in love. With Mr. Shoe. Mr. Shoe. Yeah. Uh, Will tries to get Rachel to stop. Where we lose that. Where we learn about Susie Pepper, you know? Mm -hmm. I won't get into that, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Finn and Kurt get paired together, and Kurt tells Finn to sing to his unborn daughter, eventually singing to a sonogram and getting caught by his mom. Yep. Classic. Later at the Fabre's family dinner, Finn sings to Quinn, revealing she's pregnant, getting Quinn kicked out of her house. Yeah. Uh, Rachel finds her self worth with the help of Susie Pepper. And the Glee Club, club oh my god! <laughs> yeah, see, sings I did a it too for Quinn. It's the Glee Club. Glee Club, it's hard. Okay, Glee songs club. are "Endless Love," "I'll Stand by You," "Don't Stand So Close to Me," slash "Young Girl," "Don't Stand So," "Crush," "You're Having My Baby," Crush. and "Lean on Me." You're having my baby. In this lovely quote, <laughs> we have: "If I don't get enough sleep, my antidepressants won't work. Then I'll go crazy and I'll kill you, Terry." Episode 11, Hairography. After suspecting Sue of foul play, he visits the coaches of their sectionals competition, eventually leading to a scrimmage performance. Quinn begins to question giving away her baby and plans a date of babysitting with Puck to see if he'd be a good dad. Culminating, culminating? <laughs> in Quinn deciding to give Terry the baby after Puck spent the night sexting Santana. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Quinn enlists Kurt to give Rachel a makeover to distract Finn from her date. Mm -hmm. The songs are Bootalicious, Don't Make Me Over, You're the One That I Want, Papa Don't Preach, Hair slash Crazy in Love, Imagine, and True Colors. End quote. <laughs> when Brittany is showing the hairography, she says, it's like cool epilepsy. Oh, Brittany. Next, we have Mattress, which is one of like the most, it's a very big turning point for the series. It's right after halfway point of the season, and it gets intense. <clears throat> the 15th annual Thunderclap, which is the school's yearbook, um, the Glee Club isn't given a picture in, will detest the decision to the, to the kids' dismay. 
Rachel learns from the school picture photographer of a commercial shoot and gets them to hire the Glee Club to be in it. Will discovers Terry is faking her pregnancy and her plan to take Will or Quinn's baby. Uh, Will leaves her and sleeps at the school. He sleeps on a mattress that the store gifts the Glee Club for the commercial, actively disqualifying their amateur status for sectionals. Mr. Shu decides to not attend sectionals so they can still perform. It's a big one right there. Mm -hmm. For songs, we have Smile, When You're Smiling, Jump, and then a different song named Smile. (laughs) Quotes. This is a a three-way quote between um, Mercedes, Finn, and Artie. Uh, Mercedes asks, what's a patriotic wedgie? Finn says, when they hoist you up the flagpole by your undies. And Artie says, strangely, it did make me feel more American. Oh, goodness. We here at Mattress Land believe mattresses aren't just for sleeping and fornicating anymore. We believe buying an affordable mattress should be fun. (laughs) That's the guy that runs the mattress store. He doesn't have a name. And then, all I want is one day a year where I'm not visually assaulted by uglies and fatties. (laughs) That is, of course, Sue Sylvester. Who else would it be? How many more episodes? Um, well, we're on 13 and there's 22 in the season. Okay. After Puck spills the beans about the baby daddy to Mercedes, she told everyone else in Glee, except Rachel, and must try to hide it from her to save their chances at sectionals. Rachel figures it out and tells Finn he breaks up with Quinn. With Will not going to sectionals, Emma steps up to take the kids, but has to push back her wedding with Ken to make the competition, which ends in Ken breaking things off with Emma due to her feelings and dedication to Will. The other school begin performing, and the New Directions discover that their set list was leaked by Sue. They must they must last minute try to change their routine to have a chance at winning. Finn shows up with the new sheet music, and they perform a completely new set list, leading to the New Directions winning sectionals. Principal Figgins hears of Sue's part in this new set list, debacle and suspend sue from her what debacle debacle and suspend sue from her position and reinstates will as glee club captain um let's just talk about how unrealistic that is like (laughs) very unrealistic (laughs) in like how many hours this is kind of where i started realizing there is a big disconnect between reality and like show choir in the show yeah because it's in this episode and then also in the very last episode at regionals where it's the week of the competition. They're like, we have our set list now and it's yeah. like two days before and they have to learn a whole new routine, three yeah. separate songs. And like then, professionals could do that, but these are high school these are kids. high school kids. Maybe Rachel Berry could. Rachel Berry could. <laughs> Brittany could. Brittany could. Brittany yeah. slays. Yeah. Okay, songs are, and I'm telling you, I'm not going. Times two. Don't stop believing. Don't rain on my parade. You can't always get what you want. My life would s- suck without you i wrote such apparently quotes <clears throat> sex is not dating if it were santana and i would be dating <laughs> and santana's like <laughs> no, that's when they're on that like five-way call and we're just like yeah <laughs> <clears throat> that was between santana and britney by the way um and then we have there is an orgy of evidence <laughs> against you Figgins. which is principal figgins <laughs> <laughs> next up we have again one of my favorite episodes of like the whole series Ooh. which is hello episode 14 but it's spelled like jello like yep. h-e-l-l dash o yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> okay this is there's a time jump between sectionals and here um fresh off their victory even though there's a time jump uh the kids are feeling invincible but are quickly brought back to reality after another slushy to the face we learn sue is back to coaching the cheerios after blackmailing figgins after the fallout of baby gate which is Mm-hmm. You know, baby gate Quinn. Yep. Finn and Rachel are now dating as well as Puck and Quinn. Under instruction by Sue, Brittany and Santana are tasked to seduce Finn to throw off Rachel, to which Finn breaks up with Rachel. After getting dumped, Rachel meets Jesse St. James and instantly becomes infatuated, later learning Jesse is being used as a spy. Rachel doesn't learn that, but we do. Mm-hmm. Um, now separated from Terry, Will and Emma begin dating and start taking things slow as Emma has never been intimate with anyone before. Oh. After hearing of Rachel and Jesse, Will stops to talk to Shelby Corcoran, the director of Vocal Adrenaline, who quickly begins making out with Will in his apartment. Yikes. For songs, we have Hello, I Love You, uh, Gives You Hell, Hello, Hello Again, but not like Hello Again, the song Hello Again. Highway to Hell, and Hello, Goodbye. 
Jeez. Lots it of hells. Hello. Um, here we have Sue saying, I won't be bearing any hatchets unless there is a clear shot to your groin. Nice. I'm going to bring some Asian cookery to rub your head with. Right now, you have enough product in your hair to season a walk. <laughs> <laughs> Sue, of course. Uh, here we have, what do you guys say when you answer the phone? Will asks. And Kurt <laughs> responds, no, she's dead. This is her son. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you did this one. Uh, we have Emma Pillsbury. This is kind of uh, out of context. I just thought it was a funny little line. She says something about, it's about um when her and Will were making out. She said it was a pearly white harbor. Yeah. She looked like Pippi Longstocking, but like Israeli. <laughs> yeah. That was Santana. Okay. Did you know dolphins are just gay sharks? Oh, Brittany. Oh, yeah. Are you gay? Most of the show choir directors I make it out with are gay. <laughs> Is that how she says that? Are you gay? I didn't know she asked if he was gay. She said, are you gay? He says, no. <laughs> and she goes, most of the show choir directors I make out with are gay. <laughs> That's Shelby Corcoran. Uh, is it my turn? Yeah, I just read the okay. last one. Episode 15, The Power of Madonna. Madonna has, ta- has taken over the school. Sue is using her music to inspire the Cheerios to win and will follow Sue and task the Glee Club to sing Madonna as their assignment to help the girls regain confidence. We also follow a slew of characters finding their sexual liberation through Madonna. That includes Rachel, Jesse, Finn, Santana, and Emma and Will. After being hurt by Will, Mercedes and Kurt decide to help Sue to regain her confidence by re- recreating the Vogue music video. Jesse switches schools and joins the new directions to the group's disapproval after sue's vogue makeover she makes Kurt and mercedes cheerios they tell will they were sick of never getting solos Slay. songs are ray of light express yourself borderline slash open your heart vogue like a virgin four minutes what it feels like for a girl and like a prayer this is probably the episode with like one of the best like set lists of songs like the it's like stacked i don't, um, know, I don't know i don't thing. i don't know if i agree with that okay Quotes, would you please stop talking? You're disgusting, my baby. (laughs) Quinn, Uh, I thought I smelled cookies wafting from the ovens of the little elves that live in your hair. (laughs) That was Will, or Sue, Sue, to to Will. Will. (sighs) When I pulled my hamstring, I went to a misogynist. (laughs) 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 Brittany? (laughs) You're about as sexy as a Cabbage Patch Kid. Santana. Talking to Rachel? Uh, no, to Finn. Oh, shoot. Mercedes is black. I'm gay. We make culture. <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> Next we have home. Episode 16. Sue has a magazine columnist coming to do a piece on the Cheerios. She both takes control of the school's auditorium and tells Mercedes she needs to lose 10 pounds to stay on the team. Will must try to find a new uh, practice space and runs into April Rhodes at the roller rink and asks to use the space. Mm-hmm. Uh, where was that? Okay. Finn and Kurt's parents, Bert and Carol, start seeing each other due to Kurt's crush on Finn having his, their parents meet. Yep. Whatever. Uh, this is to Finn's dismay. We later see Finn allowing Bert to sit in his dad's old recliner, showing he's changed. Yo. April's sugar daddy has a stroke in front of her and is given hush money and decides to buy the school's auditorium for the Glee Club. Woo. For songs, we have Fire, A House Is Not A Home, One Less Bell To Answer, slash A House Is Not A Home, Beautiful, and Home. Nice. You were conceived on a pinball machine. That was Carol <laughs> Hudson to her Finn. To her, <laughs> to Finn. her Finn. To her son, Finn. <laughs> I'm going to go get myself a bikini wax and see you tomorrow. <laughs> April Rhodes. <laughs> uh, I love this episode. Really good. Episode 17, Bad Reputation. Kurt steals a tape from Sue's filing cabinet when sent to her office, and the Glee Clit. Yeah. <laughs> Glee, Glee Clits. <laughs> Decide to post the video to which Sue brings up the Glist, a ranking of the hottest people in Glee, which was made by an unknown Glee member. Will raps, ice ice baby. Sue begins seeing people slow motion laughing and decides to volunteer and give back. Sue tells Emma about Will's hookup with Shelby in April, to which she confronts Will. Will, ch- very awkward by the way, it's in the teacher's lounge and all we'll, the. We'll get to it. I got okay. a lot of quotes from that. Will tries to find the 
creator of the list, while those excluded from the list try to climb the ranks. Kurt confesses to stealing the tape, but she doesn't care due to her collaboration with Olivia Newton-John. That's about Sue, by the way. Sue doesn't care. I yeah. Rachel decides to create a video for Run, Joey, Run with Jesse, Finn, and Puck as her boyfriends to boost her Glist ranking. Will apologizes to Emma for his sluttiness and sees a depressed-looking Quinn in the hall, putting it together that she made the Glist to boost her image. You sounded like Kendra when you said that. Oh my gosh, I did. Get poop on your cowboy boots. Oh. Ice Ice Baby, you can't touch this. Physical, run, Joby, run, and total eclipse of the heart. Hey, Sue, let's get physical. Not really my type, but I like that attitude. <laughs> and that was a random student to Sue. But after I put random student, I realized it is a later very important character, David Krofsky. That was David? That was David Krofsky. Mm. <clears throat> we have world-class banana magnet, April Rhodes. Ah. Sue says that. Don't start with me, Castle. I will kick you in the taco. Okay, okay. Mrs. Carlisle is talking to Will, and, and Emma intervenes. And she says, my husband recently died. And Emma says, wow, getting him straight. Wait, you wrote this wrong. I thought that's what she says. Wow, getting straight off the rebound. Wow, getting him straight off the rebound. <laughs> I feel like that one, you just got to see it. Like, you yeah, that one's so funny it. if you see it. This, is, this one's my favorite quote of the episode. Okay. You're a slut, Will. <laughs> Emma. <laughs> and then we have, I'm getting cold feet, Artie says that, to Brittany responds, can you even feel your feet? Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Episode 18, laryngitis. The thing I've noticed is the the later half of season one is so good. Yeah. It hit after hit it really after is. hit. After Puck gets his mohawk shaved off, his social ranking falls, gets thrown in a dumpster, and decides to try and get with Mercedes. Rachel bugs the choir room and finds half of the club has stopped participating and informs Will. Kurt starts to act straight to try to win the praise of his dad, and Rachel finds out she has an aggressive tonsil infection and is urged to get her tonsils removed. Santana and Mercedes start fighting over Puck while he starts bullying again. Mercedes breaks up with him and decides to quit the Cheerios. Finn takes Rachel to see his paralyzed friend to cheer her up but Bert apologizes to Kurt for not paying enough attention to him and tells him he will love him no matter who he loves Labor. songs include the climb Rachel's laryngitis version <laughs> it's awful Jesse's girl love that scene the lady is a tramp pink houses the boy is mine Rose's turn and one coming up Do you see, this episode is Jeez. probably like the Whoa. Has the best quotes. There's so many. Okay. We got to get through this. This puck says, get ready, black girl from Glee Club. I don't know the name of right now. Talking about Mercedes. <clears throat> this is between Santana, Quinn, and Brittany after Will asks why nobody's like performing anymore. Like uh, Santana says, everyone knows I'm here. I'm just here to look hot. Quinn says, my pregnancy hormones are making me moody. And then Brittany goes, there are so many lyrics. <laughs> This is from Puck. <clears throat> Girl, you got more curves than a Nissan ad. <laughs> I didn't put it in there, but Mercedes just goes, that's really all you could come up with. Mm -hmm. uh, Sue says, so you like show tunes. Doesn't mean you're gay. It just means you're awful. <laughs> I love that quote. You know, there's only one person in this world who can tell you who you are. Me? Me? No, me. Sue Sylvester. Sylvester. <laughs> <laughs> this is another out of context one, but it's just so funny. He, it's Finn talking to Rachel about her, how she can't really sing right now because mm -hmm. of her sickness. And she goes, and he calls her, if you're a vocal cripple, mm. it's kind of random. It was eh. funny in the moment. Eh. This is a good one. I am like Tinkerbell Finn. I need applause to live. That's a good one. This is Kurt. He says, Dad, I really need you to respect my privacy. Brittany and I were having sexual relations. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, uh, oh, I, yeah, you can do this. <laughs> this is a good one, and it needs a little bit of context. Okay. This, is, um, this is when Mercedes quits. She was supposed to do a 10-minute run 
for the Cheerios performance. And Sue's like, what am I supposed to do now? And she's like, oh, well, I'll have to take the mic and deliver a diatribe. Probably something about immigrants. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you want me to do it? Wait, did you just do the last one? Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess it's my turn. I this might is... have done the one before that, too. But really? you just I don't I don't know. Yeah, I did. I did those two. Oh, you just skipped me. Okay. I I thought it was my turn. Go. Okay, so I'll do the next two. We have episode 19, Dream On. Will's teenage nemesis, Brian Ryan, is now on the school board and has come to take a look at the Glee Club with the goal of shutting it down. Brian gives the Glee Club a speech about how their dreams are dumb and unachievable. The aftermath of Brian's speech shows that Artie's dream is to be a dancer and Tina tries to help him walk and dance as well as Rachel on a journey to discover who her birth mother is because she's adopted and has two gay dads. Two gay dads. Yeah. Boogie, woogie, woogie. (laughs) You're my dad. Okay. Um, First believing her mom is Broadway legend Patti LuPone. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Will unearths Brian's dream of showbiz, and they both end up auditioning for the same part in a local production of Les Mis, leading to Will getting the role but then turning it down later so Brian won't cut the Glee program. Brian's an awful person. I hate him (laughs) so much. And I also hate his actor. I can't think of his name. Uh, We learn the reason Shelby is using Jesse as a spy was to get to Rachel Mm -hmm. because she is the biological mother (gasps) of Rachel and wants to connect with her. (gasps) <laughs> Artie starts looking into intensive therapies to help him walk again, despite the irreversible damage to his spinal cord, which he later comes to terms with. Poor Artie. We have uh, songs of Daydream Believer, Piano Man, Dream On, Safety Dance, I Dreamed a Dream, and Dream a Little Dream of Me. So are we sure that sh- uh, <laughs> Leah Michelle and what's her face? Idina Menzel aren't actually related? Yeah. No, I, they... Like, look at them. Apparently, the, I was... I've been researching. I've been doing a lot of research. And the only reason they hired Adina Menzel to, or cast her to be her mom is because when the show first came out, they're like, she looks just like Adina Menzel. And they're like, we'll get her. Wow. Yeah. Well, and they just both have like such powerful voices. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We only have one quote for this episode is, <laughs> I sound like someone put tap shoes on a horse and shot it. Dang. That was Artie. Yo. And then we have episode 20. Theatricality, the Lady Gaga episode, actually. Oh. Uh, Tina is told by Figgins that she is no longer allowed to dress in goth clothing anymore due to the rise of pseudo vampirism from Twilight being such a big deal. Later at the end, we find Tina uh, dresses up as a vampire to scare Figgins into letting her dress how she wants. Rachel learns that Vocal Adrenaline is planning to do a Lady Gaga is planning to do Lady Gaga for regionals. Um, Rachel Quinn and Mercedes then go to do a stakeout. Well, Rachel discovers Shelby is her mom. <gasps> Carol surprises Finn with them moving in with Bert and Kurt. Ooh. <laughs> Finn is not happy, reaching the point of using the F slur to, dis- to describe Kurt's decorating style. Fidget spinner. Okay. <laughs> um, King Bert comes in clutch with one of the most touching speeches in the entire show's history. I love it's so Bert. powerful. So good. The football team keeps bullying the Glee Club, specifically Kurt and Finn. Shelby has come to the realization that Rachel does not need her as a mother and comes to tell her goodbye and they uh, that they should be grateful for meeting but should keep their distance. Meanwhile, Kurt is being bullied by the football team. Finn comes dressed up as Lady Gaga to save him. Nice. We have her songs Funny Girl, Bad Romance, Shout It Out Loud, Beth, and Poker Face. Here we have a quote between Quinn and Puck. Uh, and Puck says, or Quinn says, you want to name our daughter Jackie Daniels or Jack Daniels? Jack, you just ruined, ruined it. Ruined it. <laughs> you want to name our daughter Jack Daniels? She's a girl. And Puck goes, okay, fine. Jackie Daniels. <laughs> you being a jock and you being in this glee club does not make you versatile. It makes you bisexual. And that was one of the football <laughs> players, Azinio. <laughs> we have... <laughs> A great line from Shelby Corcoran talking to the vocal adrenaline peoples. She says, ladies, I don't want to hear about chafing just because you're wearing metal Mm -hmm. underwear. Not Not my my problem. problem. (laughs) What's your problem, Finn? It's just a moist towelette. (laughs) 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 All 
right. Episode 21, Funk. Jesse has revealed that his true intentions and trans... And trans... What? Oh, Jesse sorry. Jesse has revealed his true intentions, intentions and, transferred and transferred back, back to Carmel and brought Carmel. Carmel and brought vocal adrenaline to scare them and also trash the quiet room. The Glee kids try to retaliate. Finn and Puck slash the tires of all the gifted <laughs> Range Rovers vocal adrenaline have. They must get jobs to pay Shelby back and get jobs with Terry at Sheets and Things. Mr. Shu learns the weakness of vocal adrenaline and tasks the Glee Club with performing funk. He also discovers the way to throw off Sue, seducing her, eventually standing up her on a standing, standing her, her up, up on a date, leaving Sue stuck in bed, leading to a distraught group of Cheerios wandering the halls sobbing. <laughs> Will visits Sue at home <laughs> to apologize and get Sue to come back and lead her group. <laughs> Jesse lures. lures Rachel to the parking lot and has kids from Vocal Adrenaline egg her. <laughs> I was shook at this part. Um, Will takes huh? I'm sorry. I, I Will was real talks sp- the kids out of violence and scares Vocal Adrenaline by performing a funk number for them. <sighs> Songs include Another One Bites the Dust, Tell Me Something Good, Loser, It's a Man's 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 World, Good Vibrations, and Give Up the Funk. Another episode with a lot of good quotes here. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> For me, trophies are like herpes. Sue Sylvester has hourly flare-ups of burning, itchy, highly contagious talent. Sue says that, obviously. Nice. Obviously. <clears throat> Thinking, trust me, was a sensible board control option. Mm, mm. <laughs> this cheese smells funky. That's because it's from under cheese. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm so depressed. I've worn the same outfit twice this week. Oh, Kurt. Kurt. Received an anonymous tip that someone wants to meet me here to discuss an illegal hot Cheetos ring. <laughs> what? Sue says that. And it kind of doesn't make sense, but she later says it's because uh, flame and hot Cheetos create um, endorphins in teenage brains, which makes them happy, which uh-huh. she does not like. So uh-huh. she needs to shut that ring down. I love flame and hot Cheetos. Where's my... What? This is... Oh, this go is ahead. my turn. Go ahead. <laughs> Sandy is at Sheets and Things, and she asks um, Finn and Puck... You mean he? Yeah, sorry. Where is my Muzak? How am I supposed to shop without my Kenny G? <laughs> I thought Jews were supposed to be smart. <laughs> so Terry. Bad. So bad. That's <laughs> oh, from Terry. So sad. Oh my gosh, do you realize if someone like <laughs> took this out of context, we could get canceled? I guess, but like it's glee. That's the thing. A lot of this stuff probably wouldn't fly now. It wouldn't. But it was 2010 and it's glee. <laughs> Everybody knows glee is so out of pocket. It really is. But like if someone just like oh. Yikes. Well, we have the full clip. I guess proof. we have proof. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is this is this episode is kind of so sad to me. Sue Sue is writing in her journal and says, "I have feelings for one Will Schuster, sexy non-murder feelings." Whoa! You know what Wednesday is, right? Hump day. You said it wrong. Yeah, I, I said I don't even. Yeah, Will is in this episode. Will's trying to seduce Sue. Yeah, and he's leaving the room and he goes, "You know what Wednesday is, right? Hump day." I don't get that. You know what Wednesday is? Hump day? You know what Wednesday is, right? Well, this is the last episode of the season. Great episode. Episode 22, Journey to Regionals. After relentless months of the Glee Club fighting off Sue, the kids are devastated. (laughs) Devastated. (laughs) Devastated after finding out Sue has weaseled her way onto the regionals judges panel. The panel consists of all celebrities that have made appearances throughout the season, such as Olivia Newton-John, Josh Groban, and local weatherman Rod, Rod Reddington. Reddington. The Glee Kids, <laughs> oh my gosh, the Glee Kids reminisce about the last nine months and begin to lose hope. Will breaks down after the kids give up and learns Emma has a new boyfriend. <gasps> after hearing "Don't Stop Believing" on the radio, Will decides to do a journey medley for regionals. Quinn's mom comes to watch Quinn and tells her she kicks out her she kicked out her father and wants her to move home. At the same moment, Quinn's water breaks. Ah! Oh my gosh. Quinn begins to give birth whilst vocal adrenaline performs at regionals. Bohemian Rhapsody. I love that scene. It's so funny. Oh. 
both. And we end up with Vocal Adrenaline winning and oh, the yikes. New Directions losing regionals. <clears throat> uh, Shelby learns from Rachel. Oh, wait. I skipped a line. Sorry. Rachel talks to Shelby and tells her to teach at McKinley instead, but she wants to settle down and have kids. Shelby learns from Rachel about Beth, Quinn's newborn baby, uh, and she goes to the hospital and offers to adopt her. Having to move out of the choir room due to the deal Will made with Biggins when he started the group, uh, we see Sue voted for New Directions to be first at regionals, also making her own deal with Biggins for Glee to get another year to perform. Aw, Sue. For songs, we have Faithfully, Any Way You Want It, Slash, Love and Touch and Squeezin', Don't Stop Believing, and Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. For our last quotes of this episode, we have Sue. Sue is just my favorite little thing. I'm having a hard time listening to you today because your hair looks like a briar patch. I keep expecting racist animated Disney characters to pop up and start singing about living on the bayou. Nice. <laughs> you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck. Quinn. Quinn. That is while she's giving birth. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we have, as you all know, Glee Club is such an important... Honestly, I can't even finish that sentence. <laughs> That's Sue. <laughs> I've seen that car you drive. I don't want to catch poor. No, it's not. She, she says, I've seen that car you drive. I don't want to catch poor. Poor. <laughs> That's Sue. And lastly, let's round this off, Janie. Come on. Okay. <gasps> oh, I said that's by Sue. This quote's not by Sue. It's by Principal Figgins. Okay. To Sue. I will tell my wife of our heated sexual congress before I will be bullied by you again. <laughs> And yes, that, Figgy. that wraps up our, our retelling of the plot of Glee season one. one. How, did, were you having fun there? Mm-hmm. Did you enjoy this? Yeah. I enjoyed this. Good. What was your favorite episode? Um, I really like the one where... Finn sings to Quinn's parents. How? That's know. like my least favorite episode because it's so uncomfortable. Like he straight up sings to a sonogram and his mom catches him. And then he thinks it's the bright idea to go sing. I'm having your old baby that's, that's to Quinn the, in front I, of her parents. That's why I love it. It's so freaking weird. It's so stupid. Um, I think I it's like episode love... nine. I do like Hello. Hello is really where good. Jesse comes into play. I think episode I like sectionals episode two. Episode 14 is where it really starts heating up for me. Like it gets really good after that. Uh, Episode 12 is really good. Mm -hmm. Where Will finds out Terry was faking her pregnancy. Uh, Season one is probably the best season of Glee. Like season one or season two are like top tier. Interesting. You don't agree? I don't know. (coughs) Bless you. Okay. We're going to wrap this episode up for now. And uh, I need to give a little update here. I've been talked out of doing a Glee episode every two weeks for some reason. And now it's going to be every month. It wasn't just me. I never said it was just you. Okay. I just wanted to get Glee over with, but now I guess it's got to go into November. But here's the thing. If you do it every other week. Yeah. You're not going to have, like, you're just going to be stressing yourself out trying to watch Glee. Where's the enjoyment in your life? But the thing is, now that I'm not just watching Glee, I'm going to have to find other things to watch to fill that episode that episode time. Not necessarily. We have to have episodes. I could do stuff. Like what? We'll talk about this off camera. Okay. Okay. We're done with this. Do you have any... What's your media of the week? Um, hmm, the ultimatum. Queer something your version i think it's called i am obsessed with that show just because it's so dramatic and stupid Happy but Pride Month. um the ultimatum the original show was just the ultimatum but then they did like a a queer version obviously it's really like entertaining to watch because everyone's so dramatic um, and then I just watched the Taylor Swift documentary mm. love that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and we started shiny what is it 
oh, shiny, happy people. The yeah, we started that, so I'm excited to keep watching we that. We finished the first episode, three more to go. Yeah. Maybe that's what we'll do an episode about. Yeah. Actually, I have that planned for July already. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> All right. How about you? For me, I've just been watching Glee. I've been watching Glee. I started the first Indiana Jones film, got an hour in, and I need to finish it still. Other than that, that's about it. All right. Shiny, happy people. That's yeah. good. Yeah, that's it. Nice. All right. So thank you for joining us on our first Gledia. journey into our mostly Gledias. <laughs> I'm very excited to continue doing this and I need to start season two. <laughs> <laughs> you, well, I'm good. No I'm one's good. making good. you do this. Well, I, I know. I'm enjoying it, though. I love doing <laughs> this. Like, I literally spent the last week and a half writing 20 pages of 21 pages of notes for a glee podcast it's like homework why would you willingly do this to yourself? i'm after i finish this i'm going to print all this out and staple it together so we have a booklet <laughs> of all of the glee synopsis and just like pull it out like hmm. bro you should put this online people would i am this i up. think i'm gonna start like putting my notes somewhere so people can like look at it because like it's not just like words i have a bunch of good pics in here too yeah you do all right Thanks for watching, yo. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Glee episode. And keep your eyes peeled for another one. I think maybe sooner than a month because we we'll already have a day planned to film. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we're having a special guest on that episode too. So <gasps> look out for that. <laughs> okay, thank you. And this has been the Mostly Gleedia podcast where we talk Gleedia mostly. mostly. Good. Bye. Bye.